In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use minoxidil foam and minoxidil liquid in order to get the best penetration so that you can get the best results. Stay tuned. Hey, my fellow follicle frontiersmen, it's DJ from Keratin Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. Keratin Brotherhood is here to help you build confidence in hair loss through transparency, empathy, and positivity. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you click that subscribe button and also click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I upload new content. All right, so the first minoxidil we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the Rogaine Liquid 5%. And this is a one month supply bottle here. You can see the dropper next to it with the one milliliter measurement. Now to go ahead and put the dropper on the bottle, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to take off this black cap, grab the black cap and just pull it off like that. And then you have another black cap here. And then once you get the top off, you just go ahead and screw on your uh, dropper. And it's quite easy once you put it in there and just tighten it down and there you go, guys. When it's time to use the Rogaine, you just go ahead and unscrew the topper like this and then go ahead and squeeze the little pump there. And the really convenient thing about this dropper is it lets you measure out exactly one milliliter. So you don't have to try to guess how much minoxidil you're pulling out each time. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to put the Rogaine uh, liquid onto our scalps. What you wanna do is measure out your one milliliter like this, putting a dropper, you can actually flip the dropper upside down so it doesn't drip out all over the floor. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and I got, I usually start with the back of my head cause I use it on both the back and the front. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop little drops all across my scalp like this in multiple areas. That way the liquid gets to the scalp before it gets caught up into the hairs. I know a lot of people worry about it getting caught in the hairs. It's really not a big deal. Uh, but for these purposes, especially the liquid, uh, I make sure that I get it on the scalp first. And then once you get it in the scalp, I will go ahead and rub it in. And just use your hands, work it into the scalp and try to spread out as, as best as possible. And it's, minoxidil has a pretty big or pretty wide area of effect. Um, and so just because it's not immediately on the scalp, the areas surrounding the area that you apply are also getting the effects of the minoxidil. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and the amount that I use on the back here is about maybe half a milliliter. Um, so I split half a milliliter in, in the front half a milliliter in the back and I just work it in like that and it's pretty easy right after that go ahead and wash your hands uh, and then or if you're going to use the front for the hairline then you can just jump in and start doing the hairline like this now on the hairline one of the things you have to keep in mind is that you don't want it to run into your eyes obviously so don't don't let it run into your eyes but what I like to do is I like to actually pull back the hair in different sections and then drip it into the the area so I put it on the hairline here and I pull my hair back like this in different areas so that I can drip it in. So let's go ahead and run through that real quick. So uh, we'll start probably here on the top. You can see that I'm still thinning up there. So I wanna make sure that I actually get it onto that skin area as well. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and measure out your dropper and go ahead and pull back different sections. And I'm going to start with the, the top here at the edge of the crown on the top of my head because that's where I'm also thinning. You can use minoxidil anywhere in your head, guys. It doesn't matter where you put minoxidil. If there's follicles, it's going to make those follicles grow. Um, and so you don't have to worry about the instructions say only apply to your, to your vertex. Um, it works everywhere. Okay. So you can see actually here I'm applying it onto the hairline directly. And I'll just put a drop on the scalp and I just rub it in with my fingers and I'll work all the way across the hairline like this. Uh, like I said, I use one or I use 0.5 milliliters on the front and also the top and then I'll put 0.5 on the back of the crown and just work it in like this guys. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, it's going to get caught in your hair. Some of it's going to get caught in your hair, but don't worry about that. All right, just do the best you can to get it onto the scalp. Uh, anyways, it's going to permeate through the, the base of the follicle anyways. So the majority of it's going to get to your scalp. Now, if you have really long hair, parting your hair is the key here. You don't want to put it onto the hair itself uh, in the sense of like just putting it on hair, but you want to part the hair and put it into the part. And after you do that, go ahead and massage it in. Um, I spent about maybe 30 seconds or so just massaging it into the scalp like this to make sure it's all getting in there. Make sure you don't forget your crown area too. Go ahead and massage that back in. And uh, yeah. And during all of this, you might get some shed hairs on your hand. That's normal, guys. Don't worry about the shedding. Minoxidil does tend to cause some shedding, but and then make sure you, uh, you know, put the top back on and wash your hands, and you're good to go. And then after you do that, you want to go ahead and style your hair just like you would. Uh, normally, I would kind of let this dry for about you know four or five minutes, but for the purpose of these videos, I'll go ahead and just style now. And you can see that sometimes you get some on your forehead like that, the excess. Just take a towel 
and just wipe across. Or you can use your fingers before you wash your hands and just wipe it off, no big deal. Yeah, just style your hair like that. Um, get your back area if you're you know, you're styling your crown or whatever you do. All the styling uh, can be done after you apply the minoxidil. Now the liquid minoxidil does take a bit to evaporate off because um, it has propylene glycol in it and that leaves this greasy residue. Uh, and so you might notice that your hair starts to feel a little bit greasy afterwards, but that's, that's normal guys, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just give it some time and it'll dry off. And minoxidil does leave a residue on your hair. All right, and that residue is unfortunately normal. You can't do anything about that. The second type of Rogaine they have is the Rogaine foam. And this formulation is really convenient uh, compared to the liquid because it dries almost immediately after you put it on your hair. So uh, now for the Rogaine foam, it comes in this metal container, an aluminum bottle, really solid bottle, obviously, because it's aerosol. And you notice the top has these two arrows here. Um, in order to open up, you want to make sure you align those arrows just like you would like a Tylenol bottle. And once they've aligned, uh, it's still kind of hard to pull off, um, which is good because you don't want your kids or getting into it if they're not supposed to. But once you align these arrows here, you really need to force the top off like that. And the instructions say in order to measure out the correct dosage for the minoxidil foam, that you would actually fill up the cap uh, with minoxidil. So you would just spray it into the cap like this um, until you reach that line there and then you would stop. And that's considered one dosage. Uh, so you'll put that on twice a day, morning and evening. Now, personally, I don't use the cap because I feel like that's a bad way to use it. So I'm gonna show you a different way. Now applying foam minoxidil is so much easier in liquid. All you're gonna do is the same thing. Uh, you can apply it in different areas like this and then rub it into the different areas, just like you would the liquid. But I feel like that's a bit overkill because one, um, there's really no need to, but for those per for those of you who want to do it that way, I'll go ahead and show you like this. You get into different areas and you just rub it in like that. But personally, um, I prefer to just uh, drop a huge glob of it, either on my hand or directly onto the scalp. And so you'll see me just put a huge uh, glop of, or should I say, is that a dollop? I don't know, <laughs> it's not butter, but <laughs> put a dollop of minoxidil foam there and just rub it into the scalp like this. Okay. The good thing about the foam is that the foam, as soon as it hits your the body heat, it liquefies and it becomes a liquid. Uh, but the best thing about it is it dries very quickly. And so you can see here I'm working it in and it's still a liquid, but probably within a minute or so, your body heat's going to cause the alcohol to evaporate off and then you're going to be left with just the minoxidil residue on the hair. I, I have been using foam exclusively for the past uh, few months. Uh, but for uh, for quite a f for about two years or so, I used the liquid. You know, minoxidil foam is the way to go if you can get the results that you're looking for from it. Not everybody responds though. And so for the foam, the hairline, here you're not going to put a dollop. You're actually going to squeeze small amounts into the parts of the hairline you want to work it in and then rub it in like that. Okay. Now as far as measuring goes, you know, just play it by ear guys and, and you know how much a cap full is. Like I said, you're not gonna die. If you go over or under the, the recommended dosage, you're not gonna die. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying to sit there and just douse your head with this shit, okay, because then you probably would suffer some type of side effect. But you know, as you can see here, I'm applying a little bit here, a little bit there. Now, if you're not sure how much a cap full is, then play around with it. I just find it's really hard to fill the cap up with the foam minoxidil and then try to scoop it out of the cap. Uh, it's kind of counterproductive. So this works better for me and uh, it, it's less time consuming and I have to clean up the cap afterwards. Mm. And really work it into the hairline if that's the area that you're working for, working with. And then finally, give yourself a nice little massage. Let that massage through. Also, don't forget that you wanna go ahead and massage the crown area if you're applying both, cause that's what I do. So I'll apply here, or massage the front here and also the top of my head and then I'll work back into the crown and massage that through. And like I said, the great thing about the, the foam minoxidil is that it dries really quickly which means that immediately after applying the minoxidil, I can go ahead and start applying my other hair products uh, like my oils and also my hair fibers. And I'm out of the door in less time and I don't have to worry about waiting for the liquid to dry. So there you have it guys. That's all there really is to apply minoxidil. Like I said, it's not really difficult. It's not rocket science. Don't forget guys, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you click the subscribe button. I'll be putting out weekly content related to hair loss, hair regrowth, and just overall positivity, empathy, and transparency. Once again, my name is DJ from Care of the Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.